Can I open my eyes? It's so bright. It's almost 3 55. I didn't sleep very well. I've got big plans for this video. I don't know, I'm gonna pull it off a bit. Okay, so it is now 20 past 4, 420 Woo! Went to Cape Town, first stop, grab me a mare. I don't need no more good reasons to leave the seasons This breeze is Jesus, the season's about as cool as my t-shirt So, I'm currently surrounded by massive buildings I don't know if you can really see, yeah you kind of can Waiting for Graham, because I have no fucking clue where he lives. So this is Graham. Welcome to the worst episode of Cribs you've ever seen. <laughs> He's the worst half of the Keeping It Blunt podcast. <laughs> this is the better half right here. Ah, then I, uh, they'll paint the walls plug early in the video, you know, and I think nothing wrong with it. Chick is old school like Shelto Adidas. She feed me shellfish, I need it. Since I don't eat beef or chicken, pork always bleeding. Cheers, Cheers my friend. <laughs> Goodbye, I'll see you on Sunday. Y'all had enough of your summer, go leave and go back to Bummer. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. It's a brilliant book by Mark Ronson, which I've almost finished. Oh, hi, why only while out on the weekends? The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. It's a brilliant book written by Mark Ronson. I've almost finished it twice. Um, but the reason I've only almost finished it, we'll get onto that in another video. For this video, I'm going to be focusing on one of the main messages that I've got from the two times that I've tried to read it, and that is that the book is not about not giving a fuck about anything, but rather choosing what you give a fuck about more carefully. I'm on a surface safari with a stunner for certain, sir. I'm sorry if you only thought of putting just your feet in. Now repeat it. And I'm on my way, away. This choosing what to give a fuck about is something that I struggle with hugely with this YouTube channel. Well, I have recently, I didn't to start with. Because when I first got this GoPro for Christmas in 2019, I figured, cool, I can film festivals when we go with my friends and I'll upload it to YouTube just so that there's a way for everyone to see them. At that point, I thought that YouTube was just a place for guitar tutorials, dickheads like Jake Paul to run around and waste money and music videos. And that was about it. That was until 2020 happened. No, John, no way. I found a Jono. Hi, uh... I found Jono. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Twenty twenty, the year we all stayed inside, and I found out that there was a lot more to YouTube. This was when I started struggling to decide what to care about when it came to the channel. Every single upload was met with some kind of anxiety. Now all them girls that got kids go out. Get the babysitter paid and don't go home now. I be known, but don't forget phone calls out, but it goes two ways like a free so out. I was there to get a seat, I was good up in the house. My thoughts are so unique, I may blow now. I found out how much more there was to making a video and then just cutting up a bunch of inside jokes and putting some music in the background. I realized that editing was actually a very complex process and there was a lot of subtle things that make a big difference in the video. Then I started worrying that all the videos I've been uploading just weren't good enough. So I was very much overdressed for this, this Cape Town Heath. I thought it was going to be chilled. So I went out of jeans, socks and shoes. No, I'm back to change. <laughs> What would you, hypothetically, what would your reaction be if I told you I'd locked your keys in your pocket? <laughs> I mean, it's a good thing I didn't, but it's like... It's a fucking good thing you didn't. Bloody Mary Mix with me. Snacks! So, I woke up and I've got this fucking egg on my toe from walking with shoes for the first time in a while. But I'm gonna put shoes on again anyway. So 
Let's see how that goes. But good enough for who? This this was the question. Um, this was when I started realizing that I needed to start choosing what to give a fuck about when it came to this channel and figure out why it was exactly that I was making these videos in the first place. It started just because I had a camera and I had a bunch of footage from Smoking Dragon just passing the camera around to my friends and making a video for them to see it. What could ever lead you to stay in a place literally named Twin Towers? I mean, did you not learn from, from history? Look at this. So, inside this door are the keys. I know I joked about it yesterday, but we've just locked the keys in the, in the house. You think this bed's only gonna come from this? We have to get out of that gate. We need a tag to get out of that gate. Okay, mission, get a tag, successful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Them. Oh my gosh, that is the best thing ever. Look at that. That is the best thing ever. Give it a smell. It's like sanitizer. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think you're having a good time until oh, 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 it's it's it just fucks you up. It really does just fuck you up. So last we got pizza, so that's it. So John is my my bag carrier. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I found. It's in the bookshelf. Can you believe it? Hello Graham. This is a coincidence. Yeah, right. What are the chances? Oh, <laughs> paint the walls on the radio again. Don't worry about cop copyright and all that. Do you want to be on TV? <laughs> Megan. Yes, Dan, I always want to be on TV and I really also hope... Hello Megan. <laughs> now you're going to be on TV. <laughs> We've got alcoholic beverages. What do you say to alcoholic beverages? <laughs> Drivers of London. <laughs> is it good? It's actually something good, it's, it's definitely got alcohol. Have you ever <laughs> seen a more white girl thing in your life? <laughs> I don't know what Walter to do, James. Got it. Oh my goodness. Got it. Let's see the snap. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> you Yelling with myself like who you think the devil is. Swimming in my pain like it's my motherfucking mistress. Dream about my girl and I was sleeping kind of shit. Secrets I've been keeping from myself I started shifting. And that was when this was still easy. When all I gave a fuck about was making a video for all my friends to see. And that's basically where I'm trying to go back to now. I'm making videos now for me to look back on when I'm older, rather than having any goal in mind. Fuck off, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awkward. But yeah, basically, I, I need to stop giving a fuck about who's watching my videos, because I don't even know half the time. So now, I'm just making videos for me to watch when I'm an old man and see that I actually did do some fun stuff in my 20s in the midst of a global pandemic. So, I guess the moral of the story is I feel like people these days care about too many things and don't actually care enough about the things they really care about. So, the subtle art of not giving a fuck isn't about not giving a fuck. It's about choosing what you give a fuck about and actually giving a fuck about it. Hey, Graham. 
I promise to get back